Hey folks, you've seen many of our videos that we've done already. Wyoming, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, Montana, Colorado. We, we've done all kinds of them. Well, today we're going to do Idaho. And Idaho has some good things, some bad things, and some strange things. And I'm going to go through all of them. But what you really need to remember is April 30th is the deadline for moose and goat and sheep. And they have two sheep species, California bighorn and Rocky Mountain bighorn. June 5th is the deadline for deer and elk and antelope. So one of the things you hear us talk about is how we use this right here. I, I'm logged into my Go Hunt account, my insider account. And for all of our viewers, if you use this system, and you'll see why I use it. Uh, if you use promo code Randy, you're gonna get $50 of free store credit in their gear shop, which is a serious gear shop. But right here, I'm reading the application strategy article for moose, goat, and sheep. And these application strategy articles that Go Hunt does are unbelievable. They, they are the best, like 20 minutes of reading you can get about how the system works, how you want to do it, what your strategy should be per species, for the state, for this year, for multi-years. Just really, really good stuff. So the Go Hunt Insider has that, in addition to having research about every, every unit in Idaho, every unit in all the states. Plus, you've heard me say it many times, they have the best, the most accurate draw odds of any service out there. So we're going to get into the good things about Idaho because there are a lot of good things. One, it doesn't have a point system. So if you are a new applicant in Idaho, you have the same odds I do for whatever tag. Say you and I apply for the same tag, even though I've been applying for 20 some years. No points. I like that part of Idaho. It's one of the later states. And what I mean by that is it's now April 23rd. This video will be up probably the 25th or 26th. Well, we've already found out about Arizona. We've already found out about Montana, New Mexico, Wyoming elk. So you can use Idaho as your fallback. So if you didn't draw in one of those other states, it's like, all right, here's Idaho. I still have that chance. And if you did draw in one of those other states, say you want a hunt that you can just swing for the fences like the home run swing, use Idaho. Say you already drew a Wyoming elk tag, but you're like, wow, I'd really like to go hunt one of those great deer, one of those great elk units in Idaho. Or, you know what, I'd like to apply for sheep. This is your chance. You already have much of your schedule in place. Idaho comes along. You can use Idaho as kind of the fit in the, the flexibility part, the open part of your calendar. So, and if all that is, is not part of your picture, say you, you haven't drawn and you don't draw in Idaho, you have to buy this non-resident, non-refundable hunting license in order to apply. So if you've already made that investment in the license, don't be afraid to go buy a general over-the-counter tag for deer, and or elk. Idaho is the state for over-the-counter tags. Yeah, there's a lot of them. They're just about always leftover elk tags, non-resident elk tags in Idaho. Uh, the other great part about Idaho is there's a ton of public land. Idaho has a lot of public land, both BLM and Forest Service. And in Idaho, their state trust lands have some of the most hunter-friendly rules of all the Western states much different than the, the confines you get in Colorado, uh, New Mexico, Arizona, uh, somewhat in Wyoming when it comes to state lands. Idaho state lands, go do it. Another great part about Idaho is their license cost and their tag cost for non-resident youth hunters is really, really attractive. We're talking like really small dollar amounts. So if you have a youth hunter in your house that you wanna take with, Idaho might be a place, look at applying them because the license cost is cheap and if they do draw, the tag cost is really inexpensive. So the other 
really good thing about Idaho and is why I apply for moose tags here is the draw odds for their big three, what I'll call once in a lifetime, moose, goat, and sheep, are the best draw odds in the West, hands down. And I'm gonna explain why that is. And that's one of the things I'll say falls in the strange category of Idaho. In Idaho, here's what you can do. You can apply for moose, and if you apply for moose, that's it. Can't apply for anything else. Or you can apply for sheep, either Rocky Mountain or California. But if you apply for one of the sheep species, you can't apply for anything else. Or you can apply for mountain goat. And if you apply for a mountain goat tag, can't apply for anything else. And if you say, I'm not applying for moose, I'm not applying for goat, I'm not applying for sheep, you can apply for deer, elk, and antelope. So you get your choice of the once in a lifetime species, you can pick one of those, or you can pick the three, which we call the deer, elk uh, species. That's really strange. Idaho is the only state that does that. And the benefit of it is people have to pick and choose what they want to apply for. And that makes the draw odds really, really good in Idaho. So one of the other strange things about Idaho is from some of the species, they, they notify you that you drew the tag or you can go online and look that you drew the tag, but you have until August 1st to buy the tag. So it's not like they send you the tag in the mail. And as a result of that, a lot of people either maybe intentionally, but most likely just forget about it or didn't know the rule, they don't pick up their tag by August 1st. And so in early August, they have a second draw in Idaho. Don't overlook that as another option for you, especially if you've already bought the non-resident license to apply for the other species in Idaho. You may as well jump in to buy a raffle ticket in the second draw. So I told you the good things about Idaho. I told you the strange things about Idaho. Now I'm going to tell you what are maybe some, some bad things about Idaho. One is you have to buy a non-refundable, non-resident license, which is going to cost you $154.75. Yeah, that's a pretty big chunk of non-refundable money. You aren't getting that back. And then if you apply for the once in a lifetime species, moose, goat, or sheep, you gotta send all the money in and we're talking about over $2,100 you have to send in as the tag fee plus the application fee. I think it's like $2,143.50 or some number like that. Point is, it's a big chunk of money that you have to send in to Idaho as a non-resident. That's also part of what makes the draw odds in Idaho really, really good. If you decide to pay it by credit card, they charge you this ridiculous convenience fee. I say, heck with that. I don't do it by credit card in Idaho. I mail them a check because I'm not going to pay them. I can't remember what it is, like $60 of a convenience fee on these moose, goat, and sheep applications. Not going to do that. The other part about Idaho is, unlike some states that say, all right, this is the non-resident pool of tags, Idaho is a lot like Montana and Arizona where non-residents get up to 10% of the tags. Doesn't mean you get that non-residents get the full 10%, but they can get up to 10%. So there's just some things going on in Idaho that make it maybe a little less attractive. Overall, if you're looking at moose, goat, and sheep, for sure apply in Idaho for one of those three. Your odds are way better than in any other state, and that deadline's April 30th. But if you do one of those, you can't do the deer, elk, and antelope. If you decide not to do moose or goat or sheep, then you have until June 5th to do the deer, elk, and antelope draw. And again, those have some pretty good draw odds, and they have some really, really good hunts with a lot of public land. A couple other small things to know about Idaho is there's a minimum hunting age of 10. If you were born after 1975, you need to take hunter education and have it with you. Uh, and then some people come from a state where hunter orange is required. 
Idaho does not require hunter orange. All that said, Idaho is a great place for you to apply. You just need to fit it into your budget because that non-refundable non-resident license is a pretty expensive ticket just to get in the door to start applying. But if you have the budget, I would think long and hard about Idaho, especially for the big three, the moose, goat, and sheep. You're not going to find better odds anywhere in the West for those three species than you have in Idaho. So there you have it, folks. Idaho, your deadlines are April 30th and June 5th. Don't miss them. And if you go out here to go hunt, subscribe to their insider and use promo code Randy, you're going to get $50 of credit in their gear shop. But even better yet, you're going to get the best information you can find in one place for researching not just Idaho, but every state out there. Thanks for watching.